Hello and welcome to the Psych 120 Hybrid Course Blackboard Tutorial. In this video I will introduce you to some of the main aspects of the Hybrid Course including the online book, lecture videos, and quizzes. After logging on to Blackboard and selecting the link for Psych 120 you will be brought to this page. Because this is a hybrid course most of what you need will be available online from this site. There are several links on the main page that I will walk through. The first thing you should do is download the syllabus and contact info. Both of these files can be downloaded to your computer as Word documents. The contact information shows which recitations each instructor is responsible for, as well as their office hours and email address. Your first point of contact should always be your recitation leader. On the syllabus, you will find office hours and email addresses for the course coordinator, Beth LeBreton, as well as the lead TA, Brett Guidry. Either of these people is available to answer questions, but again, your best bet is to contact your recitation instructor first. Students are strongly encouraged to read through the syllabus, as it can answer most of your questions about the course. We will go through some of this information now. If you have not already purchased a course bundle for this class, you need to do that as soon as possible. The course bundle comes with a course pack, an online access code, and access to the online version of the book. You have the option to purchase a hard copy of the book if you like. The course bundle cannot be bought used. You must buy it new to obtain a valid access code. You can buy the course bundle through the publisher site located here. Again, you have the option to buy just the course pack and the access code, or the course pack, access code, and printed version of the book. Regardless of your choice, everyone has access to the book online. Both the course pack and the textbook will come as printed loose leaf with holes punched so it can be put in a three ring binder. Going back to the syllabus, the grading policy and information about the exams is located here. There is also information regarding participation in experiments. Please read through this carefully. The experiments will be discussed in further detail in class, so if you have any questions, just ask your recitation instructor. A final and very important component of the syllabus is the calendar and checklist. Here is where you will find what you need to have completed for each class. You can use this as your guide from week to week to make sure you're keeping on task. For example, during week one, we reviewed the syllabus and course procedures. For week two, you're responsible, among other things, for having watched the lecture videos for chapter one and two, reading the book for those chapters, and taking the quiz. We'll go to that next. From the main page, there are two links you should be very familiar with, chapter lectures and assessments. We'll start with chapter lectures. Everything you need for each chapter can be accessed here. For example, by selecting Chapter 1, you are brought to a new page with three tabs. The first is Learning Objectives. This is a very general overview of what the chapter will cover. The next tab is for the lectures themselves. You can watch the lectures in Blackboard by pressing Play. There is also an option for Full Screen. You can also watch the videos through YouTube by pressing the YouTube button. Watching the videos in YouTube has the added benefit of subtitles. You can see exactly what the professor is saying. Subtitles can be turned on and off here. The subtitles can also be translated into other languages if English is not your first language. As you watch each lecture, it's a good idea to follow along with the outline that is located in your course pack. If you don't have the course pack yet, you can download the outline here. The chapter outlines are not filled in completely, so you will need to add information as you watch the lecture. The last tab is the Apply What You've Learned tab. There are several other links here. The first one you'll want to be familiar with is the link for the online version of the book. This is identical to the printed version of the book, but is simply online. The online book is displayed with Flash, so it will not work on an iPhone or iPad. There are often additional resources for each chapter if you would like to learn more about any of the topics that are covered. A final link to be aware of is the chapter quiz. Quizzes are timed and graded, so don't click this link until you're absolutely ready to take the quiz. Quizzes can also be accessed directly from the assessments link on the left. This will also give you the due dates for quizzes. Once the due date passes, the quizzes are no longer available and you will receive a zero for any incomplete quiz. It is recommended that you take the quizzes weekly as you finish each chapter. A final thing we would like everyone to do is take the psychology pretest. 
This test is not timed and not graded, but is simply so we know where incoming students stand on their psychology knowledge. You can access the pretest by clicking either of these links. Enter your Purdue ID, email address. For number three, everyone has the online lectures and recitations. You can skip number four because it does not apply to you, and then select which recitation section you are in. Once you have filled that out, click Continue to take the pretest.